in this chapter we will just get familiar with how the macro keyboard works so i'm just gonna go in my folder and settings and click on to sio cli mac it will open the terminal first and it says open this but as i told you in the last video that it opens itself in the chrome so we will come in the chrome browser and as you can see i'm already connected so you search the device and select sayo device and then connect here you will see one two three four five six seven eight nine zero a b d e f so the first character nine which is this one if you press the button it's gonna be nine but if you press with the shift with the bracket it's gonna be open bracket so i'm gonna go into the new tab and click this button which is nine but if you notice i click with selecting this one which is shift and then that then it's an open bracket it basically works as your normal keyboard if you assign this one as shift then anything that it's going to work with it's going to be shift plus something so this one by itself is just one and with the shift it's the exclamation mark and this one itself is zero with the shift it's open bracket close brackets this one by itself is a a with the shift it's a capital a so this one is where we assign the keys and we're going to focus on the keys in the start so you don't get confused this one is literally like four layers so function one function two three four is four layers we will talk about that in the future but if i talk about it now you will get confused so i will take it really slow so this is basically the keys we can have the normal keys as general keys and the modifier keys will be in the next section and with the lights you can change the lights at this time they're all to static but we will change that in the future lessons so static means once you have that it clicks and then goes away and then in the color palette you can select the colors that you want on this one in the scripts is it works a little bit finicky but if it does work i will show you in this tutorial in the string it's also finicky it works in a different way which i will show you in the future the password one is really handy we're going to use password quite a lot in the future we're not going to use it as password but we will still use this function and device is just so you can change the name of the device and don't worry about others and don't worry about backup for now backup is basically you can assign all the keys and colors and everything and then you can back it up in your local device and then you can basically give it to someone else so if i in the future code something and you guys couldn't figure it out i can share the json file which it saves the data in and i can share it on github so you guys can access it so let's just go back again and instead of one assign uh, another key so let's just go back to the key and instead of one let's assign something else so let's assign m and then confirm and then confirm again we have to make sure we save the changes so i'm going to save forever and then go into the new tab and then click onto the first key which is m and then the second will still be two three four five six seven eight nine zero a b and then d e f so i will see you in the next section make sure you watch the next video it's really good with the modifiers